Sorry to hear that you're going through a difficult time. Heartbreak can be incredibly challenging. But today, we're going to discuss 10 tips that can help you get over it quickly. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. Let's get started. Number 10. Try to limit the advice you get from others. Yes, relying on friends and family during this difficult time is essential, but receiving too much advice from others can be exhausting. They are trying to help and be supportive, but they are likely speaking from their own experience, which is not always helpful, Saul said, adding that it is best to be among individuals who simply listen rather than talk. Make sure that you know this is what worked for them and does not mean it will work for you. If you ask us, this is excellent advice for all facets of life. Number 9. Don't judge yourself in the process. Let us make this a judgment-free zone. I've heard many people say that they feel pitiful for feeling such strong sadness for their ex. Heartbreak is intended to be excruciatingly painful. When you judge yourself for feeling passionately, you begin to cut off feelings that you need to face in order to heal. Breitbart explained. According to Breitbart, you should see your emotions as a positive part of your character. Consider the following statement. Feeling so much for someone shows how seriously you take relationships and how much dedication you put into them. Number 8. Keep the focus on yourself. This is a time for profound thought, not worrying over your ex's every move. Do not be concerned about what the other person did or how it was unfair or unjust. When we focus too much on the other person, we fail to recognize our own role in the split, Saul explained. A breakup is caused by both people who bear varying degrees of responsibility. We can get through the agony faster if we see what we did to contribute to the dynamics so it doesn't happen again. Number 7. Give yourself grace. There's a reason why this term is used throughout the most trying times in life. Grace shifts the focus away from the blame game and toward embodying a compassionate, strong version of your lovely self. Having grace toward yourself is especially important during these periods when you're healing from deep relational cuts. Saul said, stressing that moving past a painful breakup may be especially difficult when you still have strong feelings for the other person. Remember what we mentioned before about self-compassion and self-love? It truly makes a huge impact. Assess your needs and whether they were addressed in your previous relationship. Concha agreed that it is usual for partners in partnerships to have mutual hobbies. Those pastimes may become painful reminders of what once was after a breakup. A fresh setting or a new routine can help you heal after a heartbreak. This period of reflection may take you in exciting new directions and open up doors you never saw with your relationship blinders on. Number 6. Block your ex on social media. When it comes to blank slates, make sure your online presence matches your newfound freedom. Blocking your ex on social media is a healthy coping mechanism, Conchar told CNN. Even if you only see your ex on social media, your brain receives a hit of dopamine, the feel-good hormone. Following the initial thrill, you may feel worried, unhappy, or even impulsive. Number 5. Make time for new hobbies. Because it's a new beginning, you might as well expose yourself to new experiences. As heartbreaking as a breakup can be, it can also be a chance for rebirth. Taking up new hobbies, beginning new classes, or moving to a new city can be ways to refresh ourselves and allow for continued internal growth. Number 4. Pursue your interests. It may be difficult to break free from the ice cream and rom-com cocoon, but it will help you get back on track. Go back to the things that brought you joy before the breakup or explore new passions, Breitbart suggested. By engaging in your interests, you will feel fulfilled outside your ex and will likely make connections with new people. Number 3. Turn to others. Support is critical for emotional healing, and letting people in allows you to do so, Breitbart said, adding that you must be willing to be vulnerable and accept help from others. However, it can be tough at times when individuals feel like they are crawling back to their friends that they left for their relationship. This conduct, however, should not get in your way. If someone you were once close with reaches out during a split, you will most likely be there for them. Remember that the same holds true for your case. Making new acquaintances may be advantageous if you feel like your network is a little thin or if you shared a lot of mutual friends with your ex and are seeking for new relationships. 
Even better, they won't know you in relation to your ex, so you may find it easier to focus on building a better you. Number 2. Focus on self-compassion, not self-esteem. Be kind with yourself as you go through the healing process. Self-esteem implies that there is a level of value to you, a scale of worthiness. Lindsay Concher, MSW, LGSW, owner of Coping with Lindsay, and author of I Got 99 Coping Skills and Being a Bee, Ain't One, told today. When you experience heartbreak, your self-esteem reinforces negative beliefs such as shame, guilt, and inadequacy. On the other hand, Conchard defines self-compassion as kindness, humility, and understanding. There is no comparing yourself to others, and you abandon the concept of right and evil. Self-compassion continues to say, I am worthy. It simply eliminates any contingencies, she noted. Number 1. Lean into your feelings. Staying present and feeling your feelings, both the highs and lows, is critical to recovering after heartbreak. Pretending you're fine will only add to your sadness, Breitbart remarked. Reach out for support whether it's with a therapist or a support group that focuses on breakups, depression, or loneliness. Remember that feeling like you're on an emotional roller coaster is normal. You will be a jumble of conflicting emotions. One minute you may be sad, the next angry or guilty. These dueling feelings are natural, according to David Saul, PsyD, a clinical psychologist in Brooklyn and why. Feelings of guilt, not just sadness, often take over. Because of this, Saul says, we do not take the time to register the sadness because we are too preoccupied with paying attention to a feeling out of shame and internal or external pressure. By leaning into your feelings, Breitbart says you'll be able to successfully move through Elizabeth Kubler Ross's grief stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And there you have it, 10 tips to help you get over heartbreak quickly. Remember, healing is a process, and it's okay to take things one step at a time. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might need it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.